Does everybody, does everybody know what time it is? Tools time! That's right, Ben for Tools is proud to present Space Rogue. That's right, it's tool time again. We skipped tool time for the last few weeks, so we have an extra big helping in this episode. We can't list everything, but here's what we think is important. As always, first, the updates. The Sleuth Kit, Nguma, Packet Foo, Beef, THC Hydra, Quick Recon, SWF RE Tools, Wireshark, Z Attack Proxy, Rips, Explico, John the Ripper. And one last update, if you're using your GPU to crack passwords, ATI has released some new Linux drivers. Of course, IPv6 day was June 8th. What an excellent occasion to rip IPv6 right out of your kernel if you haven't already. IPv6 is an often overlooked aspect of the basic security principle known as minimization. If you're not using it, ditch the attack surface. Living in the kernel, however, tends to let people more easily survive the purge. Nmap has been supporting IPv6 since 2002, but only in the most minimal sense. To celebrate IPv6 Day, an Nmap update was issued adding SYN scanning, UDP scanning, ICMP ping, and traceroute support to Nmap's IPv6 capabilities. It's good to know that once it's time to put IPv6 back in and rip IPv4 out, Nmap will be ready. That's a lot of updates, all of which have been profiled here on Tool Time before, so go check your sources and then update. And now, as always, into the fresh, or semi-fresh at least. The .20 release of Microsoft's Web App Config Analyzer has been released. Waka, 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 waka. analyzes hey, server configuration waka, waka. for security best practices ah, related waka, waka, to general waka, waka. Windows, IIS, ASP.NET, and SQL Server settings. This version has some new rules as well as the ability to suppress rules and to keep them suppressed. So now the man can hold down your APP as well. There were a number of updates from Whisper Systems a few weeks back where we left off. Most recent and notable is the update to their platform SDK. The SDK provides APIs to leverage all Whisper Core's capabilities. There you go. Have at it. ClamAV is an open GPL antivirus engine designed for detecting Trojans, viruses, malware, and other malicious threats. It's the de facto standard for mail gateway scanning. The core ClamAV library provides numerous file format detection mechanisms, file unpacking support, archive support, and multiple signature languages for detecting threats. So if you're looking to do more with malware than just run an agent for protection, you should know about this by now. EAPeak is a Python toolkit for footprinting 802.wireless intertubes. It seems to be pretty much passive at this point, but a good starting point for messing around with those wireless intertubes. Scalpel is a fast file carver that reads a database of header and footer definitions and extracts matching files or data fragments from a set of image files or raw device files. Scalpel is file system independent and will carve files from FAT, NTFS, XTEC2 and 3, HFS Plus or raw partitions. It uses GPU acceleration for header and footer searches and looks pretty damn cool. Raydare is an open source tool to do disassembly, debugging, analysis, and manipulation for working with binary files across a wide variety of platforms. Linux, BSD, x86, ARM, Java, MOPS, PMAC, ELF, and more in both 32 and 64 bit. There is a lot to this reverse engineering framework. Suffice it to say here, it looks well designed. Script in Python, Ruby, JavaScript, and more. Check it out along with the rest of the tools at the nopcode.org site. Most of the time, the technical concepts covered by tools are known for some time before someone actually builds a tool based on those concepts. Quite often, the original research is published by one party, then years later, a second party comes along and implements the tool, making the theoretical practical. This week, we actually had to go look up what jump lists were when we got a little confused over a tool from Wanware called JumpLister. While jump lists are a Windows 7 feature that associates frequently used data inputs with the apps that run them. So, a right click on a Windows Media Player gives you a sort of file open recent menu, along with a few other shortcuts. I guess it's not a huge jump to realize that these jump lists are stored as files and jump lister can decode those files for your viewing. Speaking of Tools Watch, they are co-sponsoring the Black Hat Tools Arsenal at this year's Black Hat Las Vegas. The Arsenal Tools is a tool demo area for independent researchers and the open source community that will allow them to showcase their work. 
Visit the Vulnerability Database to sign up to showcase your work and answer questions from delegates. The event is BYOB. Bring your own box. Get an edge on Windows diagnostics and support direct from the SysInternals experts at Microsoft. This administrator's reference provides essential scenario-based guidance and insights to help maximize your work with these tools. Now there's a book we'd like to get an advanced copy of. Oh well, just one more week until release. You can pre-order it today at Amazon.com. There are a lot more tools we didn't get to this week, but that's all we have time for. That's it for this week's Tool Time. Join us next week for our salute to Tool Time.